Good evening guys, it's Kuro. Got a tier 10 game in my Somers, a uh, ship that there's a lot of interest about right now. And didn't have a lot of time, so just grabbed what, what games I could, just to kind of give you a, a, an idea how this ship plays. Uh, matchmaking wise, Kronstadt's, the Cleveland's are all uh, obvious radar threats. Uh, Shima's a detection threat. And uh, Fletcher, Benson, and the kid, they basically are all ships that I can just blunder into and kind of spoil a torpedo salvo. Um, gonna t First part of the game, going to run you through what I think of this DD. Going to show you some of the gun angles here. Um, to use all of the guns, you've got to give a lot of broadside. And i got to be honest, I don't like it. Um... I mean, this this kind of broadside gets you wrecked by German AP, not just Royal Navy AP. Um, so, not a not a fan of these gun arcs. Uh, the shells themselves, they they're the regular 127 millimeter U.S. Uh, destroyer AP or HE AP. They're the the same guns that you you have. Uh, same lovely trajectories. Uh, dispersion on the guns is good. It's just uh, that reload is, is really painful. <clears throat> painful enough that I, I've, I'm contemplating running reload on the guns just to try to get that... Uh, get those guns a, a little more stand on your own kind of kind of situation that really the the issue that i have balancing destroyers is it's primarily falls on two factors the concealment value and the uh, uh the gun dpm or effective dpm that you can expect out of that ship um uh, just pause it real quick right here um RPF was telling me that there was nothing in this cap, so I just kept pushing down until I could try to get a, a nasty little uh, torpedo angle on uh, on this cap. Oftentimes what happens, destroyers will just either sit, uh, the smart ones will sit stern in, uh, but you have destroyers that park this way in the cap. So by torping across like this, I've got a chance to land multiple torpedo hits. So that's... This is a little ambush that I like to do on on maps sometimes, uh, creeping up in between a cap and then torp across it to see who I can who I can catch with torps. So that's all I'm doing right here. <clears throat> the torp angles on the ship are, I would say, they're about average. They're they're good enough. They're not crazy good like uh, the French destroyers, uh, but the torps i you know i don't i don't really have much in the way of complaints with the torps aside from i really wish i could have the 10 and a half kilometer fletcher torpedoes on this so i can play it more as a torpedo boat <clears throat> uh but getting back to what i was saying about and you can see some of the torp rng right there that uh this one torp just drifts off all by itself and that's right where that Fletcher passed through. Uh, either that or he was up by the island like a crazy man. <clears throat> but anyway. Uh, concealment. You, you balance your destroyers based on your concealment. That, that's, uh, that's one of the main factors. The second factor is your gun power. Um. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I believe that you're going to see eventually Daring and Jutland get nerfed. They have too much gun DPM for their concealment and it encroaches in on the torpedo boats. Why that's important, you basically need, uh, like the argument I made with the Benham, <clears throat> you need that special something to get you in the ballpark where you can get good torpedo consistent good torpedo positions on on ships and uh, you just don't have that with 
Benham and you don't have this with Summers. And right off the bat, that's why, because you don't have the gun power to, you know, really stand up to destroyers and push them out when you're spotted by things like gearings and stuff like that. Uh, Daring's going to crap all over this. Uh, but because you don't have that gun power, you have to either rely on your teammates, uh, the radar, or just dumb luck that an enemy DD isn't going to screen you out of a good, good torpedo position. And that's un, that's unfortunate, but that's that's how these destroyers were were balanced, and that's in my way that's in my line of thinking that's why I don't rate these destroyers as as powerful as some of the other more torpedo focused ships um, like Shimakaze uh, you don't you, you aren't able to use that concealment to clear destroyers out of your path you know even though it may take a while um, you can't do it and with this ship you need to bump into them you need to trade HP you basically have the HP pool of a tier 10 or a tier 9 destroyer and this is with survivability expert uh, the only thing that I'm not running on this is this is not my Ovechkin captain uh, this is my torpedo captain where I run torpedo uh, uh, acceleration on them because I really don't want or need 16 and a half kilometer torps uh, me I like to get up there you know under eight kilometers and dump those torps just throwing some uh, screening torps right through that entire side of the cap maybe I catch something maybe I don't <coughs> uh, so Balance wise, as far as I'm concerned, and I, I realize it's controversial, uh, Neustrashimi is still the strongest steel destroyer in the game. I rate, I rate Black better than Summers. Because at least Black has its niche. Uh, this ship, you want, you've got amazing torpedo armament. But it's, it's like the Benham all over again. You're just, you know, you're going to be torping from less and less, uh, you know, good angles than you would if you had something like Amazing Concealment or uh, Balanced Gun Power where you can come in and you can bully DDs out of your way, smoke up, disengage, come back in while that destroyer is still kiting out and get torpedo positions. This is dumb luck. The Shimakaze uh, bailed on this position, and this is the only reason why I'm getting up into this position. <clears throat> Can see the Shima there. Excuse me, I get st still trying to shake this uh, this cold I've had. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, this isn't the smartest thing. Getting into the cab. I do have the Kerr first here, but this Kronstadt does have radar. Um, but this is how I like to torp. And I don't need 16 kilometers, I don't need 13 kilometers to do this. You can see a little bit of the utility there with the third launcher. Two at the Kronstadt, one at the Yamato. And then I'm going to kite right back out. I'm going to pick up two on the Kronstadt. And I'm going to pick one up on the Amato. Going to get radared here shortly. <clears throat> Now here you can see the, the limitations of the gun, gun angles. I really would have liked to, to fire my uh, all my guns, but you look at the amount of broadside needed to do it, it's just not worth it to me. Uh, this Yamato, 
presenting that much broadside could easily just light me up. <clears throat> So here, just bounding my smoke forward a little bit. There's no radar. Uh, don't think there's any immediate torpedo threats near me. So I'm going to stay in this smoke a bit and uh, really just try to use some of the gun DPM or what gun DPM it has. Uh, now, this game could have had more damage. Um, I had bad fire RNG this game. Uh, you just saw my only fire this game. So, all of this, you know, potential for follow-up fire damage, you know, just not happening. Yamato's pushing in. <clears throat> I had anticipated him more, uh more kiting north to get behind this island with everything pushing through here uh, rather than try to bow into everything but I'm still gonna pick one up on him uh, but again this is this is a lot of just US destroyer gameplay right here uh, again the gun angles here they're gonna hurt you in smoke uh, simply torpedoes coming through you're likely to be showing a lot of broadside if you've got all of your guns on target uh, even if you're you're trying to angle away like I was there it's just it's really rough <clears throat> the other thing uh, the turrets rotate slightly slower than regular like gearing turrets or Fletcher or those kinds of things so if you notice uh, in the video when I'm moving the guns around, the traverse is a little sketchy. You'll see it. I, I think I... Do I go to reverse? I don't reverse my guns here. I don't think I do. <clears throat> this game's rapidly coming to an end, so I'm just trying to get what little damage I can. Now you, I do switch my guns here, so you can see the uh, the traverse time. I mean that it's not it's not horrible, but it is much worse than uh, here they come now than what you're you're typically used to on a U.S. destroyer. And again, I with the long reload, I just don't think that it's needed on these on this ship. I know this Turpitz is going down, so I'm already kiting back towards the Benson. <clears throat> and I mean, what's making me think that maybe reload will be a, a better option is uh, you do have eight guns. So if you can hit your shots, that's that's a good bit of alpha. Uh, but again, just like with Neustra Shimmy, how I started out experimenting with the ship with a torpedo build and then gradually going more and more gun focused, uh, I am going to play with this ship uh, a bit more before I really hang my hat on it. What I see, I, I see some things that really make me, me hesitate. If I was, if I was to look for a destroyer, gonna bring uh, a destroyer into clan battles or something like this it probably wouldn't be this ship <clears throat> I'd probably still prefer either uh, gearing or legendary gearing if I was looking for a US destroyer uh, simply gearing handles better it, it it does a lot of things better than this um, so this is kind of my preliminary assessment about summers if i had to sum it up i'm i'm disappointingly underwhelmed um we'll see how it goes as uh as i work with the ship more and more um 
maybe I'm gonna find something that's gonna make me happy um, but what I what I see right here I don't I'm not seeing that special aha something that I saw with Neustra Shimmy or that special niche like black has so right now if you're if you're looking at you really need to spend the the money on uh, uh, spend the steel on a destroyer my first choice would be uh, would be Neustra Shimmy, then Black, then Summers. That's that's currently the rankings I have for them right now. Um, I'll give this a couple dozen games with some uh, different builds and stuff like that. I'll play it more as rank season finishes up and uh, be able to. Uh, get an idea and this is this is one of the other things is uh, this wasn't a, a great game XP wise I did a lot of damage but it was kind of like pointless damage uh, <clears throat> not seeing you know a big credit bang for your buck like I do with uh, uh, Neustra Shimmy maybe that changes if I if I get some more damage on destroyers things like that uh, but I it's this raises a red flag to me that uh, just grossing not even 250 um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that that's that's making me cock my eyebrow uh, the ship is dirt cheap to run uh, it, obviously it does have the uh, uh, the camo that reduces the service cost plus I had uh, the uh, signal flag on it which probably is overkill uh, so it, it's cheap to play um, but I feel like Neustra Shimmy definitely prints more credits and so does so does black now black also has that super special camo so maybe I'm getting distorted here but just talking about the economy here, XPY seems like it's it's basically on par with the other destroyers. Uh, I'm just questioning the uh, credit earning potential. So that's the preliminary uh, review of Summers. I'll get some more videos up when I can for you guys to try some different builds, try reload. Maybe that helps me... Uh, push destroyers out of the way so I get into those better torpedo positions more consistently uh, we'll see uh, if you guys have any questions or comments something you want to see about the ship um, leave them below uh, and basically hope you guys are having a good night and I will talk to you guys later